Hello and welcome to Pilates with mindfulness. We're starting today seated. Okay, now if you've got a small ball, then please bring it down to the mat. If not, an apple, an orange, a small tin of tomatoes, something very light. We're going to start off with one foot in front of the other. You can always um, have your legs out in front of you if that's better or kneeling. We're going to start off with rolling the shoulders forward and up, back and down. Remembering we open the blades on the inhale and we draw them together and down on our exhale. Forward up to the earlobes, exhale back and down. Let's go in the other direction. We go back up, forward and down. Breathing in, breathing out. Keeping the length in the spine by pulling your belly slightly in and breathing into the rib cage. We're now going to slowly look over our right shoulder on our inhale, keeping that left shoulder back and down and then bring the gaze back over to the side nice and slow rotation of the neck let's now take our left our right ear sorry to our right shoulder keeping the left shoulder down and over to the other side stretching from earlobe to shoulder and back we're now going to rotate at the waist this is from the waist not the shoulders or the neck so make sure it's the waist, the left waist, as you go over to your right, look as far behind as you can, and come back slowly over to the other side. The right hand can be on the left knee, the left thigh. Prop up tall with the back hand. And let's now come forward. We're now going to come forward, fold, pull the belly and the hips, sit bones backwards as the crown comes forward. See if those forearms can come to the floor. The thighs are heavy and we're sending the back backwards, the crown forward. Feeling the stretch in the back of the body and slowly bring the gaze back, bring the hands back. And we're going to bring our hands into cactus, elbows and line with shoulders. Now draw those blades into that soft feet in the base of the spine. We're going to inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. Exhale back down into our cactus. Breathing in, elbows in line with shoulders, up. Exhale. Now think about the back of the shoulders here, the work of the rear deltoids. Nothing to do with the neck. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in, reach up, belly in. Exhale, draw those blades into that soft V. And bring your arms down by your sides. Now we're going to switch the legs around. This will have an impact on the hips. See which one feels easier. Forward up, back and down with those shoulders again. Breathing in. A bit more range of movement now. As we come forward and up, back and down. And we're going to go in the other direction. Those thighs are heavy. Back up forward and down now breathe into the nose and the chest exhale forward and down exhaling through the mouth keep the length in the spine last one let the retention go let's now do our neck rotation over our right shoulder at the neck and slowly back and over to the side maybe particularly tight if you haven't been doing this regularly in this lockdown period so just be happy and uh, with what you can do don't try and force it waist rotation now back of the hand on that thigh opening up at the shoulders this is twisting at the waist it's important that you go from the base of the spine here and not from the neck and the shoulders the eye gaze looks around, the shoulders are down, lengthen through the spine. Good, now let's come forward again. So see how this feels in your hips. This may be more tighter, it may be easier, but push the hips and sit bones backwards. The belly pulls back as the head drops and the crown is pushing forward, trying to reach forward, stretching the back of the body, belly in. And walk those hands back to your feet. And we're going to come into cactus arms again. Elbows in line with shoulders ideally. Otherwise just drop them if you need to. Inhale, reach up and back to your cactus arms. Inhale, up and back. 
So think about the back of your body, the muscles in between your shoulder blades, as well as the back of the shoulders. They're the muscles that we're trying to work here as we stretch out the chest and front of the body. Very good for posture. Now we're gonna take the legs over to one side, over to your left, and we're gonna take the arms over to your right. And come back, let's go over to the other side. And feel the stretch here from the elbow to the hips. Try and get that forearm down to the floor, but keep both sit bones equally into the floor. We don't want to lift the bottom of the mat here. Shoulders away from ears. It's the sides of the body we're stretching as well as the hips. Let's come now into the other side. Try and get those sit bones equally into the floor, the hips level. Do what you can. Bring that arm up and over, forearm to the floor, if you can. Shoulders down, belly in, breathing in. Exhale, push the hand into the opposite leg to get a stretch in the, in the hips. Breathing in, breathing out through the mouth. And lengthen each time as you restack the spine, good. Now we're going to come onto all fours now. So wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips, pull your belly slightly in, draw your shoulder blades into that soft V and look slightly ahead of the hands. Nice cervical alignment. Just give those hips a little shake. Nice and relaxed, the belly pulling in, the shoulders away from the ears, the toes relaxed. We're going to come into cat stretch. So we tuck the tail under, we pull the belly in, we bring our chin to our chest and our nose reaches for our belly stretching from crown to tail. Now on your next inhale, you flick the tail up, you dip the lower spine, you squeeze the blades back and you look up, stretching the neck and the front of the body, shoulders back away from the ears. And let's exhale, tuck the tail under first, belly in, rounding through that lower back, middle back, upper back, stretch the back of the neck now. Push the hands into the floor, away from the shoulders, breathing in, Flick the tail up. Now my breath's particularly slow, but you may find that you need to go faster than this. We so breathe while you're in the position, but you exhale ideally into your cat stretch and you inhale into your cow. Sh collarbone pushing forward, shoulders back, bottom lifted. Now let's come into neutral spine in between those two points. Now, we're going to lift up our right arm. Option, just bend that right elbow, otherwise extend it, trying to stack the right shoulder over your left, keep the hips facing down, getting a nice stretch in that right front of the shoulder, and let's stretch the back of the shoulder now as we drop the head and shoulders to the floor. Let it go. Let the ground collect you. Rotation in the thoracic spine here, so see if you can get the back of that right shoulder on the floor. And let's restack, let's do the other side. Elbow can be bent if you prefer, otherwise extension makes it harder. Stacking the left shoulder over the right, shoulders away from the ears. And we exhale through the mouth as we drop the body and we relax. Just relax and we can push into that right hand here just to sort of feel a sense of stability with the ground of the earth. Rotation. Get the thoracic rotation here. Be mindful of what you're doing. And come back. And we're going to come into child's pose now. So we take the knees wide of the mat, toes together, and we sink the hips and sit bones back as the crown reaches forward. And bend the elbows if you need to. Now we're going to round through the spine and bring the shoulders over the wrists and we come back into spine extension as we go back down. So this is all about tucking the tail under on your exhale. Pull the belly in and round through the spine. The shoulders come over the wrists. Now flick the tail up. Trip the lower spine and go sink back into your child's pose. One more time, round, round, round. Once the shoulders hit the wrists, you flick the tail up, chest forward and hips back. Now we go the other direction, tricep press up, forearms on the floor, elbows glued into one another, I, not ideally, or not completely, but in line with the shoulders. And we do cat stretch back. So breathing in, chin down to the floor, Push up with those triceps and exhale, cat stretch back to child's pose. One more. Elbows in line with shoulders. Don't take them out to the sides. Then you feel the back of those triceps working. Cat stretch to finish. Now, 
let's bring ourselves to four point near and I collect the ball we're saying hello to Marcus who's come to join us hello now let's pick the ball up or a can of beans a, um, small something very small and we're going to work the back of that shoulder the rear deltoid now always look slightly out of the hands for cervical alignment we're going to just take the hand on your exhale up to shoulder height no higher exhale and then lower but don't hit the floor straight back up for two so the hand doesn't hit the floor you don't need to have anything if you haven't got a ball or a tin of uh, an apple or some, um, um, orange don't worry you're just going to use the hand to go up and down you're going to feel the work in the back of the shoulder back of the shoulder now we rotate we take the hand forward or the apple or orange forward and down to the floor again this is coming from the top of the shoulder it's not coming from the wrist and the elbow so it's a little movement as we go forward in line with the crown of the head rotation external rotation let's do a couple more and slowly bring that hand down and stretch it out so ideally that movement comes from the shoulder so we're taking the ball or the apple or orange forward and then face down to the floor again it's quite challenging especially on the left side of the body as well so you have to really focus on working your lap muscles underneath your armpits keep yourself engaged in your abdominals and core so the left side this time so we only go to shoulder height no higher inhale lower exhale two and we don't hit the floor we hover off the floor and you're going to feel the work in the back of the shoulder with or without any light weight but the ball or the apple or the tin will just give you an element of when we need to do our external rotation we don't want anything too heavy drop if you're feeling pain now we go forward to the ball or the apple yeah and back to the floor again and it's coming from the shoulder external rotations so you're trying to get the armpit or the front of the shoulder in line with the crown of the head get some sunlight into that crease that normally rounds and you'll feel the work in the back of the shoulder like pull your belly in keep the glutes engaged work into your right armpit muscle your right lats once you've done your eight you now twizzle over into your thread the needle your rotation to stretch the back of that shoulder which we just worked that's challenging especially if you have rounded shoulders yeah you'll feel that there now we're in our four point kneel wrists under shoulders we're going to slide on our inhale yeah our right leg out behind us so on your inhale make sure the belly's engaged we slide that right leg behind and we exhale to lengthen pull that leg away now option bring the left arm out in front of you for four point nail swim we're stretching from fingertip to toe lower exhale back in now keep that trail drinks on your back left leg right fingers exhale stretch focus on length not height inhale lower exhale in let's repeat one more time we inhale we exhale to lengthen and it may lift shoulders back into those back pockets you'll feel the back of those shoulders working now a bit more use your lap muscles your abdominals and your glutes squeeze your glutes together take a work the bottom drive the toe back inhale exhale in now we're going to go into a bit more mindfulness now of holding the position we inhale and we exhale now we're going to stay here for about eight breaths i need you to keep that right hip facing down i need you to really squeeze that right bottom cheek and pull imagine someone getting hold of that right foot and pulling it back left shoulder in line with the other shoulder use your right lap muscles to lift up with your abs now if you want to you can go out to the side with your fingers and toes only a couple of inches don't take that hand any further around than the foot yeah slowly come back in let's do the other side yeah be careful keep those that tray of drinks on your back pull now your left our armpit muscles your lats are working here your abs are working your shoulders are away from your ears you're stretching fingertips someone's got hold of your wrist and pulling it forward the toe back and if you want to you can go out to the side and in lateral four point nil swim let's do a couple more option just stay still marcus has had enough he's gone in now let's do one more 
pull in with your abs lift up through your sternum lower pull in and let's come out into our child's pose again stretching from the crown to the tail slowly now bring yourselves up give your wrist a little rotation if you need to we're going to bring the legs out in front of us sitting up nice and tall now it's often we get a little bit tight in those hamstrings yeah we're going to sort of focus on really lengthening through the spine so pull your belly button in and see if you can if you need to bend the knees bend the knees yeah otherwise we keep them nice and long we lift up through the crown now we're going to bring our right leg up towards us the left leg goes out to the side slightly and we're going into runner's lunge stretch so think about lifting up and forward from the hips i don't want any rounded spine here at the moment think about a straight back and the hips so you may just find that you need to have your hands by your sides by your thighs otherwise see if you can place the hand around your toes or around the ankle or the knee and we can round the spine now pull the belly and the hips backwards the crown forward and we're stretching the skin in the back of the body now if you can you get your hands around the sides of the foot and drive the heel actively away from the bottom that's driving in opposition to the heel so you've really got to pull your belly back and stretch out through the thoracic spine here especially if the hands around both sides of the foot if you can't reach that don't worry just put your hands around your leg or stick to the straight leg the straight back and let's switch sides we start off with a straight spine sit up nice and tall bring that leg in towards your um, hips and we just have a nice straight back we're pushing the thigh down we're driving the heel actively away on that right leg be aware of how this side feels yeah and if you want to now you can round through the spine by placing that hands around the foot or you can keep a straight spine if you're that flexible but I don't mind now if you want to stretch out the the spine especially the thoracic spine around your rib cage by pulling the belly back the shoulders away from the ears while the crown goes towards the toes the chest goes towards the thigh but it's the belly and the hips i want you to think about push them backwards as the crown drives forward with the heel driving forward get a lovely stretch here in the whole of the back of the body and if you push that thigh down and the knee down you're getting a nice hamstring stretch get as low as you can but without the neck or the tension in the neck by the shoulders coming up to the ears try and keep those shoulders away from the ears and slowly bring those, those legs out in front of you now again if you're still quite tight in those hips or hamstrings bend the knees slightly otherwise tall spine and I want you to place your fingertips underneath your chin cathedral pose spines twists we're going to rotate over to your right okay now you're twisting at the left waist and the reason why i'm asking you to do cathedral pose is to show you how far you you don't really move that far yeah you don't move that far around if you don't use the arms it's all in the waist that yeah that left waist and over to the side exhale twists and come back now we're bringing the arms out in front of us and they're going to be shoulder width we exhale over yeah to one side using the opposite waist muscle so when you go over to one side it's the opposite waist that squeezes exhale over inhale back exhale over twist at the waist and lengthen on your inhale rotation lengthen through the spine bend the knees if you're kicking at the hips but try and put the work into the waist and the abdominals here the side of the waist squeeze that waist like a dishcloth this is a variation to the spine twist just to show you you don't move very far now we're going to repeat that but with our flexion now of the spine so don't go too low if you're fairly new we keep the legs bent on this one so we're going to bend the knees all the time yeah bring the arms out in front shoulders back into those back pockets exhale round through that lower back rib to hip connection now keep breathing into the ribs we exhale rotate over to one side and you pull back with the opposite waist the side you go to is the opposite waist that's working to pull you back the arms aren't moving here 
it's my waist. If your arms are going quite a way over, you're working the, the shoulders here, the arms, and it's not, it's the waist. So be mindful, squeeze at the waist, the waist. If you do my classes a lot, you'll know this. We have to be mindful that the waist is rotating us, not the shoulders. Now, let's come back to the center. We're gonna go over to one side and we're gonna go down and up, little teeny pulses, seven, six. Now it's the rib to hip connection in that side. You should be burning there now. If it's in your lower back, then come up higher, put your hands around your thighs. Come back to the center, let's go over to the other side, twist at the waist, and it's up and down, up and down, a little teeny movement here. And the lower you go, the more challenging, but don't come up too high. And then you feel it, shoulders away from the ears. Another couple to go. Should be burning there. Pull back and slowly lower to the floor. Well done. Take that full body stretch you deserve. Point the toes, arms over the head, shoulders down. Stretch. Be aware of that lower back, perhaps arching a little bit. Bring the ribs, the lower ribs down towards the hip bones. Tuck the tail under slightly. And I want you to bring your soles of your feet together now. Soles of your feet together. Tuck the tail under slightly. Place the hands behind the head. Now, I'm just gonna move down slightly from the mat here. So I want you to place the hands behind the head. The thumbs can come lower to the back of the neck to give that a little massage, a little love. And we're just trying to sink the thighs a little bit lower to the floor, the knees a bit lower, tuck the tail under, and we're going to come into abdominal curl. So chin to chest, rib to hip, and lower. We exhale for two, chin to chest, rib to hip. Now I want you to think about lifting the chest or the heart up to the ceiling, forward and up, while the chin slightly tucks into the chest to grab a little plum between the chin and the chest. Now you're not going to come up very high because the kips can't work. They're on holiday. So don't worry about the height, don't stress here. Think about the lower back lengthening into the floor, the rib to hip connection. And the elbows are wide because the chest is not working. It's purely sternum to ribs, ribs to hips, chin to chest, but the chest is coming forward. The, the abdominals should be burning here. Soles of the feet pushing together. Keep the thighs as low as you can. Do a couple more. Oh, that's the last one. Now bring the arms down by the sides. We're going to inhale. Arm up, back and down. Using that back of that shoulder. Option, hand behind the head. But see if you can use your neck extensor and flexor here. Working the muscles in the back and front of the neck. Chin to chest slightly. Squeeze your throat muscle a little bit more. Two more times and back well done bring your knees into your chest take your head and shoulders to the floor hands around each knee and let's come into external rotation now of the hip joint trying to promote external rotation other direction forward down out and up so we're really in pilates we mobilize the joints regularly without even realizing it this is so beneficial to get the biggest range you can with those hips now we're going to take both legs over, or the bottom cheeks over to the right and take the legs over to your left. Your arms are in T-shape here with the palms facing up, rotating at the shoulder joint. We're looking in the opposite direction to the knees. Feeling a beautiful stretch here on the right side of the body. And you can extend the top leg if you want to, flex the heel, stretching out the outer thigh. Pulling back in. Now the legs, the hips go over to the left as we take the knees over to the right, because it's a deeper stretch here into that left lower back. We look in the opposite direction to the knees. Nice stretch down the left side of the body here. And you can always extend that leg, but keep both shoulders on the floor, especially your left shoulder equally on the floor. And pull back in. Nice. And let's take that full body stretch. Now option, 
If you find roll up hard, you can always stick to the abdominal curl. Otherwise, chin to chest, rib to hip. We're gonna round up and over into roll over. Pulling the belly and hips back, crown forward, shoulders away from the ears. Breathing in to restack into a tall spine. Shoulders away from ears, exhale, tuck the tail under. Isolate that lower back, slowly going down. Slow, slow, slow. Breathing in. Exhale, chin to chest, rib to hip. Now try and take it out of the shoulders and put it into the abdominals. Rounding through the spine. So option, if you find the roll up hard, just stick to the abdominal curl and repeat 10 more abdominal curls for me. Otherwise, we're gonna do two more of these. But we're slowing these right down. Lower back rounds, rib to hip. Can you stop each part of the spine? Breathing in, exhale, chin to chest, rib to hip. Drive the thighs actively away from you, flex the heels. Activate those legs. Stretching from the crown to the tail. Breathing in to restack. So we're slowing it right down today, just so that we can be aware that we're really getting it right. We're working the right muscles. The shoulders are away from the ears. The thighs are working. Relaxing at our inhale. And on our exhale, we bring our chin to our chest, our lower back rounds through the mat. Now when we come into our spine stretch here, we stay here, shoulders away from ears, belly pulled back, flex the heels forward. Enjoy the stretch and then restack your spine, breathing in. Shoulders away from ears. And we're gonna slowly tuck the tail under, round through that lower back, abdominals engaged. We're gonna slow it down and come into single leg kick, sorry, single leg stretch. So the outer hand on ankle, inner hand on knee, drive the opposite thigh away. Switch and slow it down with your breath. We're trying to lift the head and shoulders as high off the floor as we can. Sit bones stuck in the floor and we stretch the opposite leg away. We're not using the neck and shoulders to guide those hands in. It's the lats and abdominals. Now extend one leg, pull the opposite leg away from you Shoulders away from the ears, abs engaged, switch into scissor. Try and keep the legs as straight as you can, belly in. Imagine a boat of water where your belly is. So keep the sit bones stuck on the floor. Working with your breath. And bring your knees into your chest. We're going to come onto our sides now for some side kick bicycle legs nothing too strenuous today more about mobility here than strength bring the legs slightly forward belly in so there's a little gap between the waist and the mat arm extended Maybe bring the legs slightly forward so you've got that balance there the bottom leg driving into the floor now we kick the front leg the top leg forward and we point the toe as we drive it behind and it's all about stretching the hamstring flex the heel point the toe hip flex the stretch so what are you doing stretching the back of your leg then stretching the front of your leg inhale and exhale now bend that top knee come forward into your hamstring stretch bicycle legs flex point the toe quad stretch hamstring stretch hip flexor stretch quad stretch hamstring stretch now other direction bend the knee take the bent knee behind you extend into hip flexor stretch hamstring stretch bend the knee into the chest take the knees far back and then just simply extend two more breathing in breathing out quad stretch hamstring stretch quad stretch hip flexor stretch and take the leg to the floor well done let's come up onto the other side now it's important that we don't work into the neck and the shoulders here it's the abdominals it's the thighs yeah not into the neck so we breathe in and we just simply take it behind. Now, don't worry about going far behind you. You won't be able to. It's more about length. Point the toe to, away from the hip. Just point that toe on the way back away from the hip joint. There you go. Hip flexor stretch. Belly in. 
the bottom leg driving into the floor to find the balance. Now, let's bend that knee, keep the knee behind you if you can, bring it forward into hamstring. Breathing in. Now place the hand on the floor if you need to for balance. Yeah, otherwise core strength can help here. Belly in, bottom leg driving onto the floor. Point the toe, quad stretch into hamstring stretch. Now let's go in the direction. We take it behind into hip flexor stretch. Hamstring, quad stretch, hip flexor stretch. And you can slow this down, everybody. Yeah, I'm going a little bit faster, but if you want to, just slow it down. Pause and just do it, yeah? Feeling the beautiful mobility work that we have in those hip joints by doing this wonderful Joseph Pilates exercise. Now we're gonna continue with that bicycle. We're just gonna do four, five in the modified version that we tend to do in our classes, which is tabletop position. And we're gonna lift the head and shoulders off the floor, hands behind the head. And we're gonna simply do the same. We just drive one heel away. And as that, bend that knee and bring it into the thighs, the other leg goes down. And we're trying to get that heel up to the ceiling, up to the sky, and the toe into the bottom. Beautiful circles, big circles. Now, other direction is more challenging. It's reverse bicycle. Breathing in, breathing out, lifting the head and shoulders to make it more challenging and trying to get the mobility in those hamstrings and hip flexors. Now, continue with that if you prefer. Otherwise, now lift those legs up. Now you want the hands underneath your bottom and you want to spill the bottom forward over the hands. So the pelvis is tucking over the hands and that way you can get that front leg more forward. We don't want the, the legs over the chest. One leg can be, but the other leg must be going forward away from your head. So one leg stretches in hamstring and one leg stretches in hip flexor. Can you see? Slow it down, hold it, hold it, and feel the stretch. Now keep lifting up with your abs and your pelvis. The sit bones are going to, away from you, to walk forward, away from the head, and up. So keep lifting up that bottom by using the abs, otherwise you'll go into your wrists. That's not the exercise. Yeah, slow it down, enjoy. Well done. Stretch. Now, option here. Just take the legs up to the sky and hold that position. Otherwise, see if you can take the legs over into rollover. Arms come down by your sides. Now, just try and straighten the back of the legs. Don't look from left to right with the head. It's important you're looking at your pubic bone. Now, I want the belly pulled in, going away from the head. Take one arm over and then the other and see if you can collect those, the feet behind you. I've foolishly put the bush in between so you can't see, but my hands are holding onto my toes. Now the pelvis has got a round here, stretch the back of the body. Lift one leg up, this is control balance. One leg lifts up while I'm holding onto the other leg and then I switch the legs. And this exercise is all about trying to take that leg as far forward away from the head as possible before you lose the balance um, through the pelvis. So pull the belly in, make sure the tail is tucked so you're rounding through that pelvis and just try and take that leg as far back as you can and to stop any pressure in the neck, lift up your abdominals, yeah, lift up your hips as high as you can. Now, if this is too much for you and you don't want to take the legs over the head, if you've got any neck problems or you find it difficult, then simply put your hands around your hips and just keep lifting up your abdominals and your hips up to the ceiling. So you're just enjoying the, the feeling of taking the legs upwards. Um, it's a very beneficial exercise. Um, otherwise, you can always bend the knees if you've got tight hamstrings um, and just see if they can, you can scissor them backwards and forwards or simply just come back to the bicycle 
um, with your head and shoulders off the floor um, in tabletop. Now we're going to stay here and just stretch out the hamstrings and just stretch out through the spine. We're going to come back down slowly. Now hands by the sides, legs wide and bring yourself up to standing. Again, option if that's too much, then simply come to the floor and just take your own time to come up to standing. So make sure the legs are hip with width, lift your arms, elevate the arms to the ceiling, exhale into back bend optional, belly in, tail tucked, and then we round through the spine and we flick the tail up to the ceiling this time as the crown drops. Now bring one hand forward and then the other, keep the hips nice and still, and we're going to walk ourselves into plank wrists underneath shoulders now a bit of external rotation of the shoulder joint here so the elbows yeah are going slightly forward rather than inwards and we're going to bring the right hand into the middle and come into side plank we exhale through inhale elevate now option drop the bottom knee to the floor otherwise we hold and we exhale you squeezing at the waist the rib to hip connection stacking the shoulders exhale through and inhale sides of the body here working the lats and let's come back to our plank the left hand comes to the center and we extend the right arm up option you say drop that bottom knee to the floor if you need to otherwise we exhale through we twist we lift the hips up we inhale look up at the hand opening up the chest here you see and strengthening through the back one more time strong thighs yeah, shoulders relaxed here, yeah, and come back down, wrists under shoulders, lift those hips up into a down dog sort of position, we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet, bend the knees if you need to, but keep those hips nice and still, and just pull the belly button in, place the hands behind the legs, feel the stretch here, and we're going to walk back out again, back into a prone position now we're going to lay all the way on the floor hands under forehead tuck the tail under pull the belly in so you feel those hips on the floor they're going to stay there the belly's lifted however and we're going to drive the right leg actively away we pull and we inhale to lower and lift yeah lengthen and do the same with the other leg so we exhale to pull and we inhale to release don't worry about height focus on length so go lower with the leg if you need to and just stretch pull imagine someone pulling that ankle away from your hip joint now option now is to do both legs yeah to keep the tail tucked and drive both toes away from your belly and you can always come into um, swimming legs if you prefer but this come, must come from the hip joint and not from the knee so the legs must stay completely still option just hold um, the visit the legs out in front behind you now I'm just coming down the mat so you can see my arms we're going to come into prone swim alternate arm and leg like we did at the start with the four point kneel but now it's more intense yeah so we exhale opposite fingers driving away from opposite toes focus on length but keep the shoulders away from the ears utilize the muscles in the back of those shoulders the rhomboids as well as the lats here so drive into the armpit muscles the muscles in between your shoulder blades pull the belly in tuck the tail under and now i'm into isometric hold i'm doing both legs both fingers and if you want to you can take the arms behind you and come into dart looking slightly forward chest open draw the blades back hold keep breathing into the rib cage belly in tail tucked stretch the knuckles to the toes be mindful of lengthening strengthening the back of the body just relax now we're going to place the hands under the shoulders, bring ourselves up and onto our backs now. Um, heels underneath the knees, legs hip distance. Okay, arms by the sides um, and we're coming to shoulder bridge. So just be aware of the lower back, how it is slightly off the floor with our neutral spine. And we're going to tuck the tailbone underneath the bottom so that lower back hits the floor and then squeeze your glutes and peel the spine sequentially off the mat. Just stay here for a couple of breaths to initially, just to warming up. 
This is all about the bottom and the hamstrings doing the work. We're stretching out the hips and the quads again and the chest. The more we lift, but this should be the bottom, not the lower back. Slowly come back down through the spine, relax for a moment. And on your next exhale again, make sure that the legs don't move here. All five toes equally planted into the floor as well as the heels and peel that spine off the floor. Now it's all bottom. So squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings are working here and relax the neck and the shoulders. Okay, shoulders away from the ears. We're looking at the knee slightly. So tuck the chin in and we can look from left to right. Yeah, with the neck, the head. So we just rotation of the neck. So make sure we're nice and relaxed and just keep breathing into the rib cage and keep lengthening and lifting. Now we're going to lower the bottom down to the floor and we're going to go one more time. So let's go again. We're going to tuck the tail under, pull the belly in and peel that spine off the floor. Try and get the movement in the spine rather than just lifting the hips up. Now we're going to take the arms up to shoulder height, shoulder width and take our arms into Cossack. Now again, we're now enabling the um, the bottom and the hamstrings, the back of the body to do the work, not the chest and shoulders. So we're going to do 10 hip thrusts. We're just going to lower the hips and then drive them straight back up again. And we're not allowing the chest muscles to work or the shoulders. It's bottom abs and hamstrings. And you're going to lift up your pelvic floor here as well. So stopping the P-mid flow if you're a lady or for the gentleman, icy water coming up the legs, you're going to lift up those regions. Activate that muscle in line with your bottom cheeks and your abs. All five toes equally into the floor. Breathing in on the way down, exhale up. Now we're gonna hold it here and just lift up. On every exhale, I need you to lift up. There might not be any movement, but lift up. And then that way your bottom isn't naturally dropping because without thinking about it, our bottoms will drop because they're heavy. So keep lifting up on every exhale, even if there's no movement and you'll feel the bottom really working now. Shoulders relaxed, put all the effort into the glutes, the pelvic floor, the abdominals and hamstrings. Let's peel the spine back down, bring the arms back down by the sides, we're going up again. That bottom should nearly be, really be giving to the sort of tire now, you should be really feeling the work in the bottom. Yeah, keep the knees still, they don't wanna be going inwards. Take the arms overhead this time and we're gonna stay here for a while, a good 10 breaths. So keep lifting up on your exhale. Now I want you to think about, imagine a ball in between your legs that you're squeezing gently, but at the same time, I want you to broaden your hips. Take the hips wider without moving the width of the knees. We're just opening up the hips a bit more. So take the hip bones away from each other. Imagine a band around the hips and you're trying to take that band wider. While you're squeezing the ball, the imaginary ball in between your legs. So your inner outer thighs are having to work hard here. Keep lifting up on every exhale. Option, arms by the sides. Now clench your buttocks like you're cracking a couple of walnuts in those butt cheeks. Yeah, be mindful of what you're working here. All five toes, inner outer soles, the feet, heels, the knees aren't moving, the thighs aren't moving, core control. Let's bring the arms back down and let's bring down the spine. Yes. Now let's take the right leg over the left leg and take both legs over to the left. As you look over to the right, we're stretching out the spine and the bottom here now. You feel that stretch in the glutes here. And the arms are by your sides, nice T shape, nice and relaxed away from the ears. Pull that knee over a little bit higher if you want to. So pull the top knee over a bit higher. I had a couple of um, pops in my bones here. I, I obviously needed the tension release. So this is worth a lot of money. Instead of going to a chiropractor, you can get a really good release of tension and knots just by holding the stretch and saying, can I go a bit further? So left leg over right leg now and go over. Take it easy to begin with. Stay here for a while. You want to have that opposite shoulder, the left shoulder on the floor. You don't want to be rounding and lifting that shoulder off the mat. Now, if that feels quite nice, then you can always bring the right hand down, you see, to take that top leg and bring it a little bit higher, up and over, just to deepen into the stretch. 
Otherwise, just stay here. And be aware of which side is tighter, your right or your left. And stack the knees. Let's come back to the center and bring both knees into the chest. We're going to put our hands around our shins and we're going to slowly peel round through the spine, abs in, rolling like a ball now. So pull the belly in, shoulders back and down and just round through the spine and bring yourself up to a seated position. And we're going to sort of bring ourselves into a child's pose now. So knees wide, toes together and see if that forehead can come down with the crown driving away from the tail. So we're getting a beautiful stretch here in the spine from the crown to the tail as well as in the chest. And if you want to, let's stretch out the back of those shoulders again, right hand through the left, right ear, right shoulder to the floor. Now you can raise your bottom up to get, to make it slightly easier. Otherwise, hips back and down will make it more intense. Let's try the other side. Try and get the back of that shoulder on the floor. Other arm can extend out in front of you this time walking in the opposite direction to that left hand will make it more intense. Thoracic rotation here, so upper back stretch. Breathing into the nose and out through the mouth. Let the head just drop. And come back. Okay, now we're going to bring ourselves up into all fours, ready for our cat and cow stretch to finish. So when you're ready, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, shoulders back into those back pockets. We're going to exhale and round through the spine in our cat stretch. And on your inhale, you flick the tail up, dip the lower spine, squeeze the base back and look up. And repeat, start with the tail each time so you get that lower back mobility, the pelvic tilt. And the neck is important here to stretch the throat muscle as well as the back of the neck, the extensor. So the neck extensor as well as the flexor. Yeah. And the shoulders are rounding. And we're going to now bring ourselves um, into a plank position, ready to stand up. So wrists under shoulders. Option, just walk the hands back to the feet with the knees on the floor. Otherwise, plank. And we're going to lift those hips up into a down dog position, driving the heels actively away from the tail, which is flicking up. And we're letting the head just drop. Now let's walk one hand in and then the other. Try and keep those hips nice and still. Now stay low. Yeah, and place the hands around the legs or if you want to, boomerang arms. Take those arms up to the ceiling. Yeah, as the crown drives in the opposite direction. Flick the tail up and stretch the back of those hamstrings and pull the belly in. Exhale, let the arms just drop. Now we're going to take a deep inhale into the rib cage in the nose and on your exhale we're going to round and articulate through the spine, rolling up until we bring ourselves into a standing position. Now elevate the arms on your inhale, stretch, exhale into our cactus position, breathing in as we started, yeah but now we're in a standing position and use your abs, your glutes, your thigh muscles, stay lovely and strong in those legs, planting into the earth as we reach up and round now side bend right arm up exhale over breathing in other side lengthening from the elbow to the hip and from the hip to the heel keeping the shoulders down strong legs into the ground Lengthen through the crown, belly in. And we're going to bring our hands to our heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day.